Hello, this is attorney Andre Lama with Michaels and Booth talking to you today about Florida's PIP law slash no-fault system. PIP benefits, a look into Florida's no-fault system. Florida is one of a handful of states in the United States of America that does not require drivers of owners of vehicles to carry bodily injury protection. Instead, we have what is called PIP. PIP means personal injury protection. What does it mean? When you get into an accident, regardless of who causes it, your personal insurance comes into play and pays for medical expenses. It pays for 80% of your medical expenses up to $10,000 and can cover lost wages, 60% of any lost wages up to $10,000. The number one question I get asked a lot is, why is my insurance coming into play when the other person caused the crash? And it's an excellent question to ask. The short answer is, it's because we are a no-fault state. What does no-fault mean? Well, as I just said, the basics of it is, regardless of who causes an accident, meaning no fault, your personal insurance comes into play and pays for those medical expenses and can cover some lost wages. If we were a fault-based state, we would have to prove that the person caused the crash. We would have to prove that your injuries are related to the crash before we can make a claim. The way the system is set up now, these things that we do anyway, the way the system is set up now is it gives everybody immediate access to health care coverage. So you don't have to wait. Who qualifies for PIP? If you own a vehicle that is legally insured in the state of Florida, then you have PIP. It's what I call bare bones insurance. It's the, the least amount of insurance that you can get on your vehicle. Now we recommend getting the maximum amount of insurance, but we'll save that talk for another time. So who qualifies for PIP? If you own a car, you qualify for PIP. If you are driving your own vehicle and you get into an accident, that PIP comes into play. Now let's say you own a car, but you're in a friend's car that gets into an accident, regardless of who causes that accident. If you own a car, or if you don't own a car, but you live with a relative that owns a car, then your insurance will still come into play or that relative's insurance. It's called the resident relative exception, okay? In some instances, if you don't own a car and you don't have a, a resident relative living with you, then the vehicle that you're in may provide coverage. PIP is not automatic. <clears throat> you get access to $10,000 of medical benefits, okay? In 2013, the legislature in Florida changed the law, and they included a 14-day rule, which says you must seek medical treatment within 14 days, otherwise you lose access to all PIP. If you don't seek medical treatment at all in 14 days, then there's no PIP for you. You don't get access to that $10,000 to apply towards medical expenses. I think it's a silly rule, uh, but that's neither here nor there. In 2013 as well, they also changed the law of the legislature to include an emergency medical condition or EMC determination. So you still get access to the $10,000 of benefits, but that $10,000 is cut off at $2,500 pending an emergency medical condition determination. Now, in accordance with Florida Statute 395-002, parenthetical 8, an EMC is a medical condition manifesting itself by acute systems, symptoms, or sufficient severity, which may include severe pain, such that the absence of immediate attention would be reasonably expected to result in any of the following. Serious jeopardy to the patient's health, serious impairment to bodily function, serious dysfunction of any bodily organ or part. Oftentimes, an emergency medical condition determination is done at the hospital after a car accident. So if you get into an accident and you, get in, you go to the hospital immediately afterwards, oftentimes that determination is done there and it would be within those records. But sometimes it's not. So you would have to go to a doctor after the fact that will make that determination for you and submit that to your insurance carrier. It's pretty much proof that's saying, hey, insurance, I'm really injured here. 
I have an emergency medical condition that requires ongoing and immediate care and treatment, please turn on my medical benefits past 2500. Now, the law states that many uh, doctors can do the determination. A medical doctor can do it. A doctor of osteopathic medicine can do it. A dentist can do it. A nurse practitioner, a physician's assistant can do it. But a chiropractor cannot. So if you're seeking chiropractic care, they cannot make that determination. You would have to go to another doctor. Simply put, it's a um, black and white area with some shades of gray. So, you know, PIP in Florida is limited to 2,500 as stated if the treatment occurs within 15 days, but no emergency medical condition exists. So then you'd have to get that determination done. That's all I got for today regarding PIP. Again, this is Andre Lombard, Michaels and Booth. Contact us today for a free no obligation consultation if you or a loved one has been involved in a car crash or if you or a loved one has been involved in any kind of uh, incident regarding injuries due to no fault of your own. 1-800-438-3606.